Sussex by the sea, always an inviting prospect. Welcome everyone to the Amex Stadium. I'm Derek Ray, ready to bring you match commentary, and alongside me is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Brighton and Hove Albion up against West Ham United. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. And a look at the lineup for Brighton. Well, on paper, they look a very balanced team. But the three advanced midfielders must at times make runs beyond the centre forward. Otherwise, they might just lack a bit of penetration. And a look at the West Ham 11. The experienced Lukas Fabianski stands between the posts. Tilo Kera plays with Angelo Ogbonna in central defence. Declan Rice starts alongside Lukas Paqueta in central midfield. And the striker today is Mikel Antonio. Thank you for attending today's game at the Amex Stadium. Enjoy the match. And the match begins. Kaoru Mitoma. Kaiseido. Useful looking position, you've got to say. Just cutting up. Oh, surely! Oh, a goal! They've taken full advantage of a dreadful mistake by the goalkeeper. Well, here it is again, and you have to say, he looks so uncomfortable with the ball at his feet. He's cost his team a goal here. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Alexis McAllister. Lucas Paqueta. Oh, he's given the ball away. It's a good looking ball in behind. Well, there's a keeper on song. Well, how did he stop that? That's just unbelievable. And now the delivery. Well, he would have been disappointed had he spilled that one. Far from a good pass. March. Caicedo. It comes to absolutely nothing. March. Well back. Corner kick forthcoming. Who can he pick out? The clearance wasn't decisive. Well, the referee not too happy with the challenge and blows for a free kick.
Declan Rice. Antonio. Crucial interception amid impending danger. Joel Feldman. Promising looking attack from West Ham. Giving the ball away. Joel Feldman. Adam Webster. March. Moises Caicedo. And they find a gap in the defence. And just like that, they don't have the ball anymore. Antonio. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Mitoma. Can they create something from here? Gross. As the replay shows, this is all about his ability to find space in the box, which then makes the finish look so much easier. That's good play from him. So the ball rolling again. 2-0 the score. Vladimir Tsofal. Rice with it. Out of play and a Brighton throw in coming up. Well, as you can see, Brighton are controlling the possession, and that's been because of their ability to win the ball back so quickly. Their pressing has been excellent, and they just haven't stopped working. It's been a fantastic performance up to now. Yes, yeah, really going so well for them, and who knows, they might be able to craft another opportunity. Alexis McAllister. Determined defending. Said Benrama. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. Poor pass. Has a go. There it is. The goals keep coming. No stopping them today. Well, let's take another look. And wow, how cleanly does he hit that? The keeper was never going to save it. What a good goal that is. Blistering first half display. And just look at that score. Really doing a fine job of protecting the ball. Now options are plenty. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Two minutes of stoppage time coming up. March. Rose. Well back. Shot attempted. And that brings to an end the first half here at the Amex Stadium.
Not to be too blunt about it, Stuart, but this has been a struggle for him up front. Yeah, he's been well marshaled so far, but he hasn't worked the defenders or the goalkeeper hard enough. He's got to impose himself on this game, otherwise they're going to struggle to get back into this. So back underway here, and West Ham left with a real mountain to climb in the second half. Can they respond? Now a decent position. Nicely timed tackle. Mitoma. It's with Welbeck. Pascal Gross. Welbeck. Brighton a bit wasteful in possession. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Cutting infield here. Defensive excellence there. Joel Feldman. March. Well, he's given it away. Ogbonna. So far. In possession, Bowen. Vladimir so far. Splendid tackle and a throw in coming up. Well, both teams have had substitutes swarming up, and now both will rely on their respective benches. Vladimir Tsofal. Now well, he's given us away. Pascal Gross. And Feldman with it here. Joel Feldman. There to take it away. Well, the outcome is a free kick here. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Coming onto the pitch, number eight, Pablo Foros. A very effective clearance. Pretty routine there for the goalkeeper. So far. Vladimir so far. Oh, a lovely ball. Oh, so close to opening up the defence. Teammates available. Well, the keeper committed himself. Substitution for Brighton and Old Albion. Coming off the pitch, number 10, Alexis McAllister. Coming onto the pitch, number 14, Adam Romano. Now, how about the short corner? Now, the referee not too happy with the challenge and blows for a free kick. Rice. Scoring chance, perhaps. Excellent block.
Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Well, foul play, says the referee. Well, no booking comes from it, but he's going to have to tread carefully here. Well, I think that's great refereeing. He doesn't want to be throwing cards about willy-nilly. And they're making a change. Well, thumped clear. Well, he would have been disappointed had he spilled that one. Now we're inside the final 15 minutes. And snuffing out the danger. Undav. Jared Bowen. Counter-attacking, very much an option. In position, and there it is, a goal. But will it be purely a consolation at this stage of the proceedings? They haven't been at the best. Well, as you can see, the defending is all over the place. That's far too easy for the attackers. The goalkeeper's got absolutely no chance there. So there it is. 3-1 the current scoreline here. Great strong tackle, throw in forthcoming. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. And number 22, Saeed Benrahma, to be replaced by number 14, Maxwell Cornett. And number 18, Danny Ings. Joel Feldman. And support available. Electing to cross into the centre. Well, it wasn't a simple save to make. Over it comes. Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. Dunk. And now with Estupinian. And the challenge halts them in their tracks. Well, on the cusp of the final whistle, and the home side really prospering today. Stuart, interested to get your take. Yeah, this has been a good performance. They've looked really sharp going forward, and they've shown a lot of energy. They'll certainly be pleased with their overall display up to now. Difficult to stop him. Oh, surely! Well, I don't think that effort remotely qualifies as respectable. And the reason it's off target, because the technique was really poor on that occasion. That's not a good effort. And that was a very fine read. Can they hit on the break? For Niles. Crossing possibilities. And that is going to do it for this game. It goes into the books as a win for Brighton. What did you make of it? Well, fairly comfortable in the end, wasn't it? Thought they controlled the middle of the park well. Going forward, there was some really nice incisive play too. It's a good result for them. Well, I don't think, Stuart, anyone can really quibble about what he put into the game. Yeah, not much more you could ask for, really. Plenty of effort, a goal, and most importantly, the right result. He should be happy with today.